The Prime Minister has been accused of humiliating Aboriginal leaders by rejecting their proposals for a referendum. At the annual Gama Festival, there's been broad support for the idea of establishing an Indigenous advisory body in the Constitution. National Indigenous Affairs correspondent Bridget Brennan reports from the event near Gove in the Northern Territory. <laughs> The Bungal is a dusty dance floor where dozens of tribes meet for ceremony. <laughs> Eddie William Gumbala's family has been gathering at Gama for 20 years. Are there different nations that come together at Gama? Yes, there's different nations, different tribes, different lingo, but all in one. One voice for Australia's many Aboriginal communities is what some say is so desperately needed. They continue to urge the government to call a referendum to set up a permanent Indigenous advisory body. Young Indigenous leaders believe it's the best way to make a difference for the next generation. If we're there at the table having that conversation, we're, you know, we're going to be able to have a better outcome. One of the Prime Minister's top Indigenous advisers describes the last decade of Indigenous affairs as wasted years. It's unfinished business but there is a level of optimism that uh, we can all do this and work together. Um, but definitely it's the, the next step of convincing uh, the parliamentarians. But the Prime Minister remains far from convinced. The federal government insists it's waiting on the recommendations of a committee which has heard time and time again that Aboriginal people want a voice to parliament endorsed at Uluru last year. The Prime Minister says he doesn't support that going to a referendum. They directly elected representative body open only to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I don't believe that would be would be able to be passed at a referendum and it's not a policy that I would support. At Gama, his government faced a searing critique. The government that claims to be of good heart to Indigenous Australia publicly humiliated a generation of great Indigenous leaders. While some have grown weary waiting for change, people here will continue their push for equity and agency. Bridget Brennan, ABC News, Gulkala.